I suppose, Dave, just watching you on the broadcast, then you use the word horrendous to describe the officiating. You're not, you're not the kind of guy who often, um, yeah, I don't think you've ever seen you talk about officiating like that since you've been coach. Well, what in particular, what decisions were you irked by? And um, yeah, can you just give us a general uh, overview on your thoughts on the, on the match as well? Yeah, you're right. I'm, I mean, I make a real point not to criticise referees and. And, uh, you know, we hand reports in and we seek a bit of uh, clarity around things. But, you know, we did that after the Scotland game. Uh, got a lot of apologies during the week. Uh, in, a, in a game that was a two-point ball game and the same TMO who made a massive decision in that game as well. So uh, I just think our boys deserve better than that. And, um, you know, that's the reason why I spoke up after the game. So... You know, it's not going to help us getting apologies during the week. You know, the game's gone. Uh, do you have an issue with the red or with Curly's, Curly's yellow or with their knockdown, which ended up being a knockback? Or which of those decisions was at all? No, I, 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 which... I don't have an issue with a red card because that's the way it's being refereed nowadays. Um, Rob's responsibility is to drop his height and the tackle, and he didn't, and uh, had a head clash. So you've you got you to gotta take that on the chin. Uh, yeah, look, I wasn't happy with Kirtley's yellow card. He's making an effort to wrap two arms. It clips his hand on the way through. They find a yellow card for that. And yet Tomkinson slaps the ball down in open play. Somehow they say that didn't go forward when he's facing forward. And they get seven points out of it instead of getting a yellow card and and us getting a penalty. So I love there are lots of decisions today I'm not going to go into. Um, but you know, I felt they had a massive bearing on the game and... You know, our boys played with a lot of courage and a lot of heart tonight. And, uh, you know, we almost did enough to win that. Um, but, yeah, well, incredibly disappointed with the officiating. Obviously, we'll follow up um, with a report uh, back to, um, you know, uh, Joel Jude. I know you've, you've, yeah, it's tough to take. It's a loss at the very last minute. But without several of your best players not playing, to have 13 men playing at one point, 14 men for 65 minutes, to be leading after the siren like how, give it, I know it's a loss, but does it feel like it's a, a marked improvement on what you put out in the last two weeks? Um, oh, look, we're incredibly proud of, of the effort. You know, that was massive. Um, you know, we, um, you know, he said we're going to be out the tank for each other, and when you're one short and two short, you got to do that. And so, um, heaps of character, and you know, we got put under the blowtorch, and I thought the boys responded really well. So, um, oh, I'm really proud of the guys, but you know, as I said, I feel they deserve better. Dave, I understand they're completely different. Um, uh, circumstances, Razi Erasmus's attack on, on World Rugby a couple of months ago, but is there a fear from coaches, um, players, that if you do say something, uh, you might also cop punishment? Oh, look, no doubt, but, you know, how do I, um, you know, how do I support our team? By biting my lip again and, and us getting apologies during the week. It doesn't change the result, and, and like I said, uh, Boys uh, ended up a tank for each other, and you know we deserved a better result than that. And so, um, you know, like I felt it was important that I spoke my mind. And uh, as Sam mentioned, you know, I've been a professional coach for over 20 years. I've never gone on the media and had a crack at a referee or the or the referee group. Um, but I, I felt I had to tonight. Yeah, and is there a different circumstance when you're doing this in a post-match press conference um, as opposed to? you know, going through it all days later and putting it out in public domain there? Oh, yeah, look, I'm not I'm not trying to compare the situation. I've made a decision to voice our disappointment, um, you know, immediately after the game because it's, uh, it's, not, it's not emotional. It's not um, overreacting, um, you know, but I thought it's important that uh, we stated our feelings. James, what was uh, your take on the game? Um, and, and did you feel like it wasn't particularly a fair contest at times? Um, my take on the game was, obviously we started really well, but then put ourselves under a lot of pressure. Um, obviously losing Bobby uh, was 11 minutes into the game. So we played a man down for 70 minutes. 
Um, then we lost Kirtley as well. So those moments really, really hurt us and put us under a lot of pressure. And to be in the game uh, towards the end of the game, I, I, I was extremely proud. And the disappointing thing was we we, we could have easily won that one. Um, some of the calls, yeah, I, I, I'm still a little bit shocked. But at the end of the day, the results been done. And I guess Renz has uh, voiced his opinion on that. Dave, uh, can I ask, uh, uh, generally, how do you find um, the, the officiating going? You mentioned you've been a coach for a long time and in the game for a long time, but this uh, involvement of the TMO and the way the game's refereed at the moment, are you fine with that overall? Um, um, look, I think, yeah, from a TMO perspective, the reason the TMO was brought in was to get the right decision. And, you know, it's going to slow the game down, but you get to look at it and uh, make the right decision. You know, I reflect back on Marius's decision um, to Simbin, Ellen, Alator in, in Scotland. Now, during the week, we were told, no, that wasn't, it was a wrong decision, it wasn't a yellow card. So that, that, that big moments and, you know, getting an apology during the week is not good enough. So um, I think if we're going to have a TMO, there's no excuse for not getting the decision right. And we saw another example of that tonight. Dave, what, Dave, what, would you see, see, what would you like to see done? Like, would you, uh, it, is it a matter of just making, trying to make these guys more accountable? Like, what, what options do you, like, as coaches, do you have to try and make the system, improve the system? So, because it does seem like we're deteriorating further and further down this path. The, the more the years go on, the more that, TMO is getting involved, more of these decisions that like this are happening. So what, 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 from your perspective, what action can actually be taken? Well, you know, everyone's accountable, or they, or they should be. Um, certainly we are. And you want to make sure that the officials are also accountable. So, you know, Marius' decision a couple of weeks ago decided a game, yet he was appointed again. So is there any accountability around guys making errors that, that are deciding test matches? Uh, three three tough tough losses to end the season. Uh, at the end of this spring tour, what can you take out of these past three games heading into twenty twenty two? Oh, you know, uh, yeah, we'll reflect back on uh, three games that were winnable. Uh, so that's frustrating. Uh, we, uh, we've learned a lot with you know. I think what we've highlighted, hopefully to everyone back at home, is there's a huge amount of courage and character in this group, and we saw that again tonight. We you know, we beat a French team with 14 players for 75 minutes. Um, so we've got a group of men who will dig in and fight for each other and weren't accurate enough in the first couple of weeks and, um, you know, finished second. So, yeah, we, we'll take learnings out of this. Uh, obviously very disappointed not to get a win on tour. Uh, but, you know, I will be better for it. Just on the entry front, um, Andrew and Taniella both both came off pretty groggy. Um, how are they holding up in the sheds? Yeah, um, Cal's um, landed awkwardly. Um, he sort of uh, he knocked himself out. He was uh, snoring for a, for a minute or so, so it was an automatic um, uh, replacement. Um, so he, he had no shoe. He didn't even test. He uh, he's automatically out of the game. Uh, Taniella's injury was a shin. And so um, we tried to put him out for five or 10 minutes in the second half and uh, it was uh, evident within a couple of minutes that he was still struggling. So we, we made the sub. Dave, Dave Ryan, can... discipline's been an issue, obviously, you've spoken about it quite a lot. Is, is this down to the players now? As coaches, do you do any more to, to address these issues? Yeah, look, I, I, thought, I thought we were a lot better disciplined tonight. I think the penalty count was 13, and we'd argue a number of those. But, um, yeah, look, it's, we've got to be better. Uh, we've lost the penalty count, and all three games were played up here. And so we've clearly got to adjust better. And, you know, I, I, I take responsibility for that. We're not blaming the players. Um, you know, we've got to make sure that we're, we're disciplined and that we understand that there's consequences for that on game day. We've got to make sure there's consequences during the week. So, uh, you know, we have to be better there. Last couple of things, guys. Dave, um, can you just give us an assessment of, of you know, the European-based players that came and joined the squad? Um, 
you know, they featured prominently tonight, um, you know, curtly, uh, you know, particularly. Um, are you able to give us yeah, just your general thoughts and, and do you hope that they're going to continue to be involved? Because none of those guys are, pr- are currently actually at the, the you Giddo know, Lawn, but the, uh, the locks have. Yeah, oh, look, we really appreciate their input, not, not just on the field on game day, but, um, you know, in all our meetings and our reviews and, and training and a lot of the good men, the, the, the passionate Australians who, who uh, you know, want to want to be Wallabies, and um, so you know we've we've appreciate the support of the board um, to bring a few guys back this year, and um, you know they've all they've all enjoyed the uh, the culture, and uh, but we'll we'll find out, we'll sit down with the board and review, uh, what, you know, the ghetto law and uh, and get an idea of what that looks like beyond this year.